All right, today I'm gonna to be tying the jig sticker. This is a pattern I've got a few questions on. Here's a coffee colored bee. I like the coffee colors as well as a copper color, which we'll be tying up today. Really solid little pattern. It uh, originated as a worm. Uh, this is the Anna worm from Tyler Boroff. I like the uh, design and the pattern just the way it looks that two-tone and I like fishing jigs. In the vise we got a 516 fire hole stick size 18 and a 2.8 millimeter bead. I'm gonna start off with some 010 lead. So we're just gonna take five wrap, bust it off and clean it up a little bit. Not so much to uh, add weight to this fly but just to stabilize that bead. Using some glow bright number eight and we're just going to go ahead and start a thread and start building a taper. We don't got to get too crazy on the taper just enough to uh, give it that carrot shape. Nice touching turns, flat touching turns. Now I like to go all the way down towards the bend of the hook and back up just to add some body on this and a place for uh, the marker to, uh, to sit on and not bleed through. So one more wrap going down, just again using touching flat turns and take another extra wrap there on the rear. Next we're going to grab a Bic Woodsy Brown marker and we're just going to go ahead and just coat the very top of this fly just like that just to give it that two-tone color. Go ahead and spin this thread to cord it up and we're actually going to build the, uh, the segmentation out of the thread. Since I've got that corded up we don't want to spin it too much. We're just going to start making open spiral ribs up this fly. We can leave a little bit of a space right behind that bead. You can see there how it added a little bit of segmentation and still held that two-tone. So now we're going to whip finish. It doesn't have to be the neatest of whip finishes because we're going to cover it up here in a second. But just hold that in place. Next, we're going to grab our Deer Creek Diamond Fine. We're going to go ahead and just add some UV resin. We're going to definitely be a little bit generous with the resin. Because we do want this to be coated and durable all the way around. This resin will help with shine, with durability, um, and it's not going to stain. Uh, fishing these close to the bottom, we uh, typically get a lot of moss. So now we're just going to go ahead and cure up that resin, give it a good healthy shot. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is the 18 knot in color black. I just like to get that started out, pull the tag off and grab some brown super fine dubby. So we're going to start with just a small little pinch and uh, just kind of build up a little collar thorax on this fly. Go ahead and whip finish that off. and just clean it up. So this version of the jig sticker was tied in globe right number eight. Uh, you can experiment with these and tie it in seven, uh, eight, nine, um, definitely in the fluorescent greens and so on. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.